All right, so in the last video, we built a product recommendation agent for our e-commerce website that had access to a Postgres database with our product catalog so it actually could recommend products to customers and visitors, website visitors, based on what they were looking for within the website chat. And in this video, we're gonna show you how we're gonna create a database data analyst agent to basically analyze our data, in this case, our sales data, and provide some insights and do things like, you know, building charts and graphs and things like this. And so for this example, we are using the sales data from our e-commerce website. So we're selling a variety of products like cameras and projectors and, you know, headphones and speakers. And so we want to be able to analyze the sales data um, from all of those transactions. And so for this agent, what I did was I generated or I created uh, sales data for about 10 months so that we could actually access and take a look at all of those transactions. And so there's about uh, 75,000 uh, records in this particular database that we're going to basically put into a Postgres uh, database and then give our agent access to this uh, sales data so that it can actually do analysis. And the analysis is actually being done by a, a service, a new service called E2B. And what they are is they're essentially a code interpreter uh, that runs inside of a sandbox. And this is really exciting because it really allows the agent to perform just a number of different things from you know uh, analysis to visualization, uh, using Python code in a sandbox. So it basically just gives us more capabilities that we have never had before. Uh, and so when we're building this, we're taking a, a process pretty similar to our uh, product recommendation agent, where the first thing that we're doing, because we're working with we're working with a database, is we're getting the schema, then we're creating the query for the chat based on the chat question, um, and then we're executing that query. And then once we do that, in this case, we might answer a user's question based on the database. And then we're also generating that analysis uh, with E2B. And later on in this video, we're gonna show you how we can do that with CSVs as well. So you're not just limited just to working with, you know, like uh, Postgres databases. Uh, you actually are gonna show you how you can actually just, you know, upload a CSV file to Airtable and then reference that CSV file and actually do analysis on it. But this is the general process. And so uh, it's really, really important to be able to, again, as in the uh, product recommendation, to understand your queries and understand your database. So, you know, in this case, because we're working primarily with our sales data, uh, we want to be able to understand some of the SQL queries for that sales data. So let's go ahead and I've already shown you the sales data and we're also going to be using the uh, our pricing tables so that we can actually understand things like, you know, our profits and our profit margins and things like that, uh, our cost price. And what's cool about this agent is that it's actually using and has access to all of these tables. So we're not using the inventory table, but we're using the sales table, the expenses table that you just saw, the product images, and also the product catalog. So it has access to all of this, uh, which is really, really powerful, especially if you have something like an application like this where you know you want to be able to analyze your sales and look at different things from different perspectives. Uh, and so that's what we're doing here. So now let's just show you uh, an example of what that looks like, and then we'll show you how we actually built it. So we go ahead into our chat and we export this, or we make this bigger. And again, the one thing that we wanted to know uh, is we want to have a look at our sales and how well our sales are doing, how well we're doing for our sales. And so our sales are kind of going up and down in this case, but we're basically asking, um, you know, please create a graph that shows the weekly sales from April to August. So our, our table goes from December of 2023 to about, uh, I believe, September, December of 2023 to, to September or October of 2024. And so what it's doing is it's actually showing um, the, the weekly sales uh, from April to August 2024. And you can see that we have our uh, SQL data. So it's actually retrieving the data from our database. And then it is using the code interpreter to actually create that, um, to create that, uh, that graph. And in this case, it's just showing you what that looks like. And then the next example, we're asking for a chart 
that shows the top 10 products by total sales. And so it's actually showing it to us. And in this case, it actually really didn't get the, um, the, uh, the X axis. We can't really see it. So we just tried it again. And then you can see on the, on the bottom here, it shows you the top 10 uh, products. So this is essentially the same thing. Uh, so that's actually really, really helpful. And so this is extremely powerful for being able to do uh, data analysis and understanding, you know, understanding your data better. So let's go ahead and show you how this looks on the back end. Uh, and so like we're saying, we're using Flowwise and we're also using NAN. Okay, so for this chat flow, we're actually using a tool agent that's connected to uh, two tools, our ETB code interpreter, as well as our SQL retrieval. So we can actually get the data from our uh, Postgres database. And then we have a pretty simple uh, chat prompt template that just tells it that it's a you know expert uh, data analysis agent and to know how to use the various tools so that we get what we want. Um, and so the E2B is pretty simple because what you can do is you can go ahead and sign up for an account and um, from E2B. You can also uh, host it yourself, but you can sign up for an account, you get a key, and then you can actually access the code interpreter, uh, which is pretty cool. And then our, our SQL retrieval tool is essentially the same thing that we used in our product recommendation agent, where we do exactly the same types of things. We get the product schema, we uh, take the query and we create an SQL query. We take the user's question and we create an SQL query. Uh, and then we run that query and then we return the results. And in this case, instead of, you know, retrieving, uh, you know, product images and, you know, the product catalog, we're actually returning the sales data. And so that's why uh, this is really, really helpful for both the data analysis and the uh, product recommendation. Okay. And so essentially, let's go back here. Essentially, this is really, really effective and uh, you can do it for so many things. So what's really powerful about this is that not only can you do some really advanced uh, searches on your database, you can also do calculations uh, on your database and then combine those with your code interpreter for you know, producing things like charts and graphs. Okay, so let's do something a little different. So previously, we saw uh, weekly sales data um, and we also saw the top 10 products uh, for a particular time period. But now what we want to do is we want to get some more insights into, you know, how well we're doing. And so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the, uh, the tables that we're working with. And you can see for the sales data, we have uh, the unit price uh, and the quantity sold and the total amount as well as the timestamp. And then with our pricing tables, uh, we basically just have uh, the retail price, the profit margin and the cost price. But what we'd like to actually know is what are our weekly profit margins uh, based on our actual sales. And that is, uh, that is something that we don't actually have here in this uh, table or in our database. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our, our data analyst and we're going to ask that question. So let's go ahead here and let's expand it. So we're going to say, please create a graph that shows weekly profit margins from, let's see here, let's say the total, the same time period. Let's, uh, let's say from April to August, okay? From April, to August 2024, all right? And let's see what it comes back with. So what it should do is it should go to the table, it should calculate the actual profit margins for every single week, the total profit margin, and then display that in a graph. So let's see what happens. All right, so we are working with uh, Groke, and when we're working with Groke, I notice that sometimes what it does is it returns the result, but it actually doesn't update the chat window. So we actually need to uh, exit the chat window and then we actually can re-expand it. And you can see that it gave us, you can see that it gave us the weekly profit margins from April to August, okay? And it says the graph provides a clear representation of profit margins. 
over the specified period. So as you can see, this is a great way to combine the power of your uh, Postgres database tables and your SQL query language, uh, which allows you to look up information, to do various calculations on the data inside of your tables, and then combine that with a, a code interpreter like E2B. And so it's a really, really powerful application, and there are so many things that you can do with it. But let's say that you don't actually have a, a database to work with. Let's say that you just have a CSV file that you want to do some analysis on. Now within Flowwise, at the moment, uh, you can't really upload a CSV file um, directly to the context window and actually have uh, you know, your agent perform some sort of analysis on it. I think they're working on it, but um, in the meantime, uh, there is a way to basically do it so that you can actually still work with your CSV files and we're not talking about like uploading it to like a rag model or uploading it to a vector database. We're talking about simply working with the file as it is directly. And the way that you do that is with your, um, with another agent that we actually created uh, using Airtable. And so what this requires is you actually need to be able to have an Airtable database. And we're actually using a tool that essentially uh, gets the Airtable data and then you know brings that directly into the agent okay and so this in this case this is our data and the only limitation with this is the context window of your agent so previously when we were returning data from the database our sql queries were actually doing a lot of the heavy lifting and doing a lot of the processing and the calculations and so you know it might only return you know 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 rows for example but because you are working with CSV files, um, you know, if you return that type of information, if you have too many uh, records, you know, if you have like, you know, 100,000 rows, for example, uh, you could easily overwhelm your agent's context window, your LLM's context window. So it's very, very important to be able to have that in mind. And, and also uh, just recognize that, you know, you may have to do some calculations in advance since you don't have that SQL query to do it for you. So in this particular case, we took just a sample, a, a subset of our data from our sales data, and then we uh, added the profit margins here. All right, we already calculated that. And so if we go to our CSV agent that uses E2B and we check it out, you can see how we are able to do some pretty good uh, analysis. Um, I would call it kind of limited analysis because you can't do analysis on everything, but you can, you know, you can definitely do analysis on the CSV that you're working with. And so what we basically did was we simply used a tool that passes in the, um, the, the name of the individual table. So this is an easy way to be able to essentially add your CSV files to a, um, to basically a, an Airtable database. And then, you know, you give it a name. So in this case, sales data two, we can also add another table uh, to our, our, our table base in this case. Uh, and then whenever you are um, referencing and whenever you're doing your data analysis, you simply have to reference the, uh, the name of the table. So in this case, I'm asking, please use the table sales data two and create a line graph that shows the total sales by the week. And then it'll do that. And then I asked it to create a graph showing the total profits for the week. Uh, and it did that. And then uh, I asked it for to summarize the results. And it gave me a basic summary of the results. So this is how you can actually uh, do a data analysis on your CSVs and using the ETB code interpreter. So I highly recommend you check this out. And if you want to get these templates, uh, if you want to get the CSV file template as well as the SQL uh, agent template, uh, you can check out the link below. And I will see you in the next video.